station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Nilifer Ramji. This space station welcomed Northrop Grumman's Cygnus resupply spacecraft, and with it comes new science investigations. And we have liftoff of Antares for NG-60 mission in the Wallops flight facility. Cygnus launched on the company's 16th commercial resupply mission to the space station on Tuesday, August 10th. The SS Ellison Onizuka, named in honor of the first Asian American astronaut, delivered over 8,200 pounds of supplies, hardware, and experiments to the space station when it arrived on Thursday, August 12th. NASA's Megan MacArthur used the Canada Arm 2 to reach out and capture the spacecraft prior to ground teams installing it to the station's Unity module, where it will remain for about three months. Over 2,300 pounds of science and research have now arrived at the space station. Here's what's on the horizon. The Flow Boiling and Condensation Investigation aims to develop a facility to collect data about two-phase flow and heat transfer in microgravity. Data from microgravity and Earth's gravity are needed to validate numerical simulation tools for designing thermal management systems. European Space Agency astronaut Thomas Pesquet will conduct the BLOB investigation, allowing students ages 10 through 18 to replicate the investigation and study a naturally occurring slime mold that is capable of basic forms of learning and adaptation. To learn more about these and other scientific studies arriving on Cygnus, follow at ISS underscore research on Twitter. Meanwhile, NASA astronauts Mark Vandehei and Shane Kimbrough spent some time speaking to Cool Science Radio to share their perspective from 250 miles above the Earth. During the interview, Shane was asked about his favorite science experiment. We're growing chili peppers in space. Um, and so I got to start that experiment a little over a month ago. Yesterday we got a chance to, to pull it all out and look at all the plants and actually thin some out uh, in order to give all the nutrients to the really healthy ones and they're, they're all looking great. So here in a couple months we're hoping to, to have a harvest and get to eat some chili peppers. That's all for today on Space to Ground. For all of the latest updates, head over to nasa.gov. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space.